a girl child from a family of four and I'm the last born on top of it raised by a woman alone being a girl child somehow I was powerless I was not able or supposed to talk we were not considered or valued and I'm here and I'm leading an organization and now I'm coming back to the to my community to support so does my story ended when I get married it did not end but actually that, that was the beginning of the story in in Zimbabwe women don't have access to resources when it comes to those productive assets they are being owned by men all of the documentation for productive assets they are in the husband's name our selection criteria is mainly based on women these solar components are being given to women that alone comes with power so my name is Tarus Sintam Sindigwa i'm the clean energy officer for Square Genesis Property working on the clean energy solutions and also spreading the climate change message in the whole Mwenyes district to build our country's resilience to climate change so Julena Pugen contributed the solar panels then Sko contributed the battery the inverter and the piping One thing that uh, really excites us is the aspect of sustainability within our programming. In the past they would walk out during the night in the dark, but now there's light everywhere. They've put lights outside such that women feel safe at night. Even when we get to the community, the community does not relate us to be outsiders, to be maybe somebody from another community but they really understand and listen to us because they know they are part of us so here in zimbabwe most of the household they they cook are using a traditional three stone method whereby you just put your three stones you put your firewood and you cook so that method is very inefficient you'll be putting a lot of firewood but little heat will be going to your pot now with at the fuel efficient stove we are now saying that we are using something that is efficient something that only uses very small firewood as of what is So uh, the school team they came with a uh, different stoves there were four models we were told uh, to select the stove that we wanted at the most so from the four designs most of us women we favored this model they have the sense of ownership both they were involved so so um it is like a bottom up innovation whereby we are saying those women are they should be the one to design that system so that they can be able to maintain it they told them where they are one hour le kuda ukuti moto uyu unukuru wa pamport kana windi nemepo mepo wino yachifuridza moto yachinda 
Pasna potu. Saka apa? Hiti yose inu ya ishirunga. Paspe potu. Saka istovu. Ema, ema geti chai. So usually, when she's using the traditional method, she can take an hour to cook a pot of sadza. But with this one, she can take just 30 minutes. Meaning that those is a uh, 100% <laughs> improvement in terms of time. Okay. <laughs> we are actually pioneering the gender project in collaboration with the Clean Energy Project. We will be gender responsive and sensitive to make sure that everyone is involved and uh, everyone's voice is heard. Pandaka poa chumis. Ne kuti ndaka ona kuti ndika baku munda. Ne chingo shuka pandu kupama ne chingo nonga zima zisoso zamu. Ne chingo shuka pandu roka nda ndo bika tia yangu ato iba. Dad nda kuro landu ndo bika raftu kumunda. Anina chia mbe ya kuti mbocha gasa kawanda so kuti ntsa gama uni zime. Iko zina una kusi zina. Growing up, um, I always wanted to solve things. I would always see women carrying large bundles of firewood on top, very large. Even myself sometimes I would go and collect, so it was really hard for me. Our wish was that we really need to respond to some of the challenges that we are facing as the Manese people. We thought as the members within the same community we really understand and know what exactly suits best for us. We know what exactly affects us because challenges differ from community to community, from household to household. So we really wanted to respond to the actual problems that we have. When I went to, to the university, that's when I decided, you know what, I have to be an engineer, I have to solve things. We are just spreading the message of empowering women with this project. Women really feel empowered. Because you'd see that in the past, women used to, uh, to move around, collecting firewood maybe for four hours. But now with the solar system, with uh, the fuel efficiency of uh, the biogas uh, digester, uh, they no longer move around. Everything is becoming easier for them. They can cook at home using that biogas, which means now we are giving them productive time to do productive work, which can improve their life loads. Now, choosing the energy field was more fulfilling because now the world is about energy. It's about going green. It's about how can we mitigate the, uh, the climate change effects? How can we adapt our communities to climate change? So I was like, this is the field I should choose because I'll be making a positive impact in the environment. Actually, when we started, they were kind of like, okay, you are here, you want to install a solar system for my household, okay. So where is the electrician? They say, ah, oh, it's a complete team. We are complete. So, yes, sometimes when we move around, they'll be like, oh, you're an engineer. How come you're wearing a work suit? Then I'll be like, come on. Women and men, we are just the same. You can be a doctor, you can be an engineer, you can be a cook. I mean, you can choose whatever field you want. So it's not really a matter of being a woman or a man. So this is where we put our cow dung. So we can even call it the mouth of the biogas digester. So we put it in the ratio of one is to one. And then we mix it. And then all the mixture will flow into the biodigester. Our biodigester is built underground. As you can see, this is where we can open or we can close the gas. So this is where all the reactions are occurring. <laughs> the process is called anaerobic digestion, whereby it is a reaction between cow dung, water, plus bacteria to produce gas. So CH4 is blue in color, 
that's why whenever we go into the kitchen we see a blue flame which is ch4 you can see the bubbles they show that some gases are being produced so are you cooking with it yeah ah that's great so do you feed it every day when we are around yes you feed it we feed it ah that's great yeah. Yeah, it's the moment we are just using for cooking. So it's only for cooking at the moment. Yeah. But it's, it's, you know, when you are feeding it, it produces plenty of gas. So now we come to the slurry piece. So everything that is coming out of the digester is now called slurry. So this slurry can be used uh, as a fertilizer. It's really concentrated. So we make sure that the gas that is entering the house is clean. You can smell some smell, right? Even CH4 from the lab smells like this. Biogas is almost the same as LPG. Now you can see the blue flame, that's CH4, which is our biogas. So biodigester systems, they empower their women through the provision of gas for cooking. Because we are saying in the past, women used to walk around collecting firewood, but now they're cooking with gas. And now they're cooking while standing. So it's really empowering them. It's not expensive, it's just using everything and what? No thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. I used to head cattle here. And some of the grass, if I get into the grass, then you can't see me. But now you can't even see anything like that, which means there is a lot of changes. So here in Munez, we've got uh, those sacred places we rely on when it comes to communication and foretelling about weather forecast. Before this climate change uh, impact us, we know that everything is okay as soon as this mountain is smoking we are receiving rainfall you can prepare the planting period the planting time they know the rains will come so now things have changed the message is now inaccurate it's not accurate like what it was before So somehow we are trying to be responsive. At the same time, we want to balance. Because if you don't uh, take a closer look on it, sometimes the community will be able to gain economic benefit in the expense of the environment. In some point, you'll be able to restore the environment and ecosystem at the expense of the community. So we are really trying to balance the two to make sure that uh, the ecosystem is uh, regenerated at the same time, the community is uh, empowered. Climate change works with adaptation and mitigation. Both of them are good. But when I look at Zimbabwe and other African countries, we are one of the countries that will be severely hit by climate change. So we should m work more, I would say, on adaptation. And then at the same time, mitigation is also important whereby now we are looking at ways we can reduce GHG emissions to the atmosphere. But however, for Zimbabwe, we do not emit that much. That's why I was saying for us, maybe it's more on adaptation. There is no Climate change action now. Climate change action now. Let's go green. Let's go green to that case. It's an adaptation measure. And at the same time, it's a mitigation measure because we are saying we are no longer emitting. At the same time, we are adapting. We are showing the world that going green is the only way. <laughs>